Hello everyone and welcome to Budget Life with Paula. I am here today to go over um, my second paycheck for the month of January. This is a budget with me. So we are going to dive right into it. If you're new, I'd like to say welcome. Thank you so much for taking out the time to watch this video. Uh, my channel is all about budgeting, just all things budgeting. Um, so let's go ahead on and get right into this. I've asked, or actually not asked, because they're not real, but they're cute as a button. Um, these little snow guys to come in and sit with me today. I've got to work on my lighting because it is like shadows. And then I like to use a lot of the natural light. And today it's very cloudy and rainy, so, and I think if I brighten up my lamps and my ring light, it's just going to cast shadows. So anyway, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead on and just jump right into the actual budget. I have highlighted the top, the top of my paper, um, previous deductions for all those that are new to my channel. Um, these are categories that um, you won't actually ever see on my budget. I take those out, and this is what I have left. So my tithe um, and or giving, household obligations, that's the OB, and then my house, um, new house down payment amounts. Those you won't see. Um, I don't want to bump those guys. Um, on this paper my budgeting work worksheets. So um, let's see, after those deductions, I am hoping to get $1,289 um, as my first paycheck for December. So we'll go over everything right now. I will fill in 289. Hope you guys are doing well today. Um, let's just go ahead on into it. The iCloud is $10, Prime 17, Sprint bill is 300. That may even, now that has already increased, but it may possibly increase a little bit more, um, going forward. We shall see. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Right now it's just 300. Um, health insurance is 132, trunk insurance is 90. On Star 70 and Post Office Box $30 I'm taking out because it is, um, it is, what is this? Um, it's due in February. That's why I wrote February here. So let's go ahead on and add up everything. I'm going to slide this over so you can guys can see. Um, while I am doing this, hopefully I can talk and calculate at the same time. So it's 1017. 300 um thank you all so much for helping me reach my 600 subscriber mark so that's 649 we're gonna do this again um and i have really really appreciate you guys just really um i'm gonna subtract the 1289 from that um, really supporting my channel. And so I want to say thank you. I think I am going to do a giveaway. And I believe I bought this calculator for myself for Christmas. Um, and I believe I am going to have this calculator as a giveaway. So if you're interested in um, this calculator as a gift it doesn't have to be white you guys can let me know what color i'll let you know when you win i'll let you know what colors are available and then you can pick from there but i think um this is just a great calculator it's nice and sturdy my table is not always um straight and even and my old calculator um just used to wobble but this one does not wobble and i like the clickety clackety of it so if you would like to enter that giveaway um the basic standard things and that would be you must be 18 you must be a u.s resident 
um, you must, let's see, be a public subscriber and you must leave me a comment in this video with hashtag 600, hashtag 600. Um, and that way I will know that you are interested in winning um, one of these nice calculators. And I'm not quite sure what day this video will go out, but I will give you guys until next Friday, which next Friday is January 13th. Well, actually, I'll give you till Thursday, January 12th. And then I will post, let me see what I have on my schedule. Um, yeah, you'll have until Thursday, January 12th. I was looking at my, cal uh, my calendar, guys. I'm sorry for the pause. But you'll have between now and Thursday, January 12th to enter the giveaway. And then I will post and share... Um, post the winner of the giveaway that weekend, either Friday the 13th, Saturday the 14th. It'll either be that Friday or Saturday, um, 13th or 14th of January. So yes, I just want to put that in there while I was thinking about it. So let's see. I'm sorry. I'm going to slide them over a little bit more. 640 is what's remaining. Uh, 200 will be for gas, 200 for food, nothing in household. Um, Caleb's haircut, well, I'll go down and take out $10. And then the kids will take out, I'll take out $10 a piece for all three kids. <clears throat> Excuse me, to go in their envelopes. I'm not budgeting anything for drive through Um, let's see. So we'll add that up. That's 400, 10, 20, 30, 40. 440 that leaves me with 200 I will bring the 200 up here I'm gonna take out another hundred for prom and that will leave me with another hundred prom my oldest daughter is participating in prom so the month of I keep bumping the table which in turns makes the camera shake um, my daughter is going to be having her first prom this year. The month of January, I am targeting for her dress. So each month, I'm budgeting out for um, a couple of things that she wants to do and get ready for the prom. And so, January, I am taking out, I think I'm budgeting 300 for the dress and that is my oldest daughter is very petite she's very very petite very slim slender petite and most of her clothes <laughs> don't fit that baby that poor baby <laughs> um her whole life um we've had to make uh, alterations and adjustments to um any easter dresses any you know nice pretty dresses we've always had to uh, make alterations uh, or have alterations done to the dress. So, so uh, it'll be the purchase of the dress, the alterations, um, and probably getting it dry clean. So, and if I have any change back from that, I'll probably put it either in sinking funds, savings challenges, or house down payment. <laughs> One of those three categories. Um, nothing is going into student loan right now that's going to be in a standstill right now um uh, hopefully we'll pick that back up i am i do have a student loan envelope over in my low priority binder that i'm just going to be putting some monies in not a lot but just uh, you know some money in um and then a hundred dollars goes over to my all things house <clears throat> all things house binder is separate from my um house down payment all things house binder it's the blue binder. Um, go back and look at some of my videos 
that I'll have um, cash stuffing house binder videos. Um, that binder has 10 envelopes. So each envelope represents a part of the house. The last envelope actually is for utilities that will um, that will come to the new house. So I have a utilities envelope pretty much like people that do a month ahead um, for their bills. So I am also saving for the bills that will be coming into the new house. So that last envelope is utilities envelope. But the other envelopes are envelopes like bathrooms. You may want to get some, you know, towels and new washcloths and things like that. Uh, laundry room, um, the, the kids' bedrooms, my bedroom, living room. So all of those things and those areas in the new house that I may want to just pick up something um, that we we might need. So that is going to get $100. Okay, dokie. So... That takes care of that. So y'all, that's my zero base budget. That is my budget with me. Once the actual income hits my account, I will do an actual and we will just fill in the blank over here on this column. But yep, that's everything. The bills that I list my bills, even though they're not all due right now, I do want to, I just want to kind of be consistent in writing them all down. Um, because I may have a chance where I want to be able to stuff um, and prepare for the bills ahead of time if I'm able to. So that's it, y'all. Um, I think that is what we're going to do. We're going to wait for the actual to come. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to, if you're interested in the giveaway, don't forget to... Um, Put in, leave a comment in this video and make sure you do hashtag 600. I think that'll be great. Thank you all so much again for allowing me to reach my 600 mark. I am on the road to 1000. Um, I already have my watch hours completed. Um, it is just getting the subscribers. So you guys, um, I would love for uh, my channel to be monetized. I am hearing that the amount of monetization is not that much at the beginning and that's totally fine with me if it's twenty dollars fifty dollars thirty five dollars whatever the amount is that'll be a, a big help to me because every little bit counts and um i just want to save and put the input money away so this will actually help with my ultimate goal and that is um, purchasing of a new home so you guys thanks so much for watching this video and i will see you and talk to you in the next one bye bye